Leo, this is your soul monthly astrology report for sun sign Leo, Leo rising and moon in Leo. Now, a lot of your planets that are going on in the merry month of September are all concentrated at the bottom half of your chart. So you've got Mars in Virgo in your second house and you've got the Sun in Virgo in your second house and Mercury. Now what this means is that you've had either to pay out a lot on something to get things something fixed because Mars is a planet of fortitude and strength so you might have um, been connecting in with trying to earn more money um, having more ideas about it, having a bit more of a drive towards earning more money. Sun in Virgo has really highlighted that. But I tell you what the sun has done for you being in Virgo. It will help you give you self-confidence, self-knowledge, self-love about why you should earn your finances and make you be more, how can I put it, more confident in that. Does that make sense? So you've got the Mars, you've got Mars there, you've got the sun there. And Mars is going to be there until the 15th. And then he jumps into Libra. And the sun is going to be there in Virgo until the 23rd. But before that, you have a lovely new moon in Virgo. So you've got three planets to help you in your financial situations. If you've had any problems, Mars has been a disruptor for change and for, how can I put it, for positivity. It's not necessarily a bad thing to have Mars in Virgo. Also, it's about your well-being and how you eat. So you may have had like, do you know what, I need to get healthier. What do I need to do? So in the first three weeks, this is all your focus. You know, how do I you know, keep my blood pressure balanced if you've got issues with your blood pressure? How am I going to look after myself in a positive way? How am I going to nurture and imbibe what I eat? That's what the Mars and the Sun will do for you. And the new moon will help you to see a different way. You look across the road there and you've got a lovely full moon on the 20th in Pisces. Neptune is there as well. So you've got a full moon in your eighth house of emotional healing, of letting things go, of helping you out. So the new moon, sorry, the full moon in Pisces will help you to heal something emotionally in some way and allow the past to be the past so it no longer affects you as badly as what it has done before. Now you've got Mercury, you've got Mars, the Sun, Venus, which will just leave Libra going into your fourth house. So let's concentrate on all your Libran planets. This is very positive for you, Leo, because Libra and Leo have a good balance. They get on really well because you're, you're fire and Libra is air. So there's a lot of communication there. So You've got Mars in Libra. What does this mean? It means that you might be restless in the next three to four weeks, trying to sort things out, driving here and there, or driving others here and there, talking a lot, social media, expansion on that. The sun there, the sun is your ruler, so you'll want to do something to do with some public speaking or to write something that's really important to you or to write something to someone in a text or email or to post them a letter or to write them a card or something like that and write your thoughts and feelings in that card or to drop them an email and bear your soul you know it's about that venus is there until up until the 11th so it's done in a loving way you might help others you might help help family members out in a positive way, yeah? You've got Venus in the 11th in the fourth house, which is wonderful. It's, um, it's a chance for you to beautify your home, to make it more of, uh, more comfortable. 
this is what I want to do. I want to put some lighting there. I want to put extra cushions. I want to make people feel more at home. I want to paint something. I want to improve something on my home life. And it's very sociable. With Venus there in your fourth house, you'll be wanting to open the doors up, you know, help, you know, inviting people into your home, into your space. Or it could be either or. It could be like, you know what, let's close the door and let's just, let's have just us. Let's have a duvet month <laughs> where you relax. You know, it, Venus is lovely. It's about, you know, connecting in and loving your space where you are and improving it to make it feel very balanced. Okay, thank you, Leo. Look forward to speaking to you next month. Take care. Bye.